This is not a video for those of you who are emotional because I'm probably going to hurt your feelings. So if you want the facts that you're going to need to make this whole cryptocurrency thing work, watch this video. But if you don't have the stomach for it, click off now. This video is to curb expectations. There's a dark side to this, and I want you to understand. It was not easy reading those news stories at the beginning of 2018. There is a lot of money to be made here. I've heard of people making 150 grand overnight like that on a 100x trade. My point is to make sure you understand reality. Everybody has their truth, and then there's the real truth. And this video was about the real truth of cryptocurrency. Hey guys, what's going on? Jeb here, and in today's video, we are going to be talking about the real Bitcoin market. What do you mean, Jeb? Don't you normally talk about the real Bitcoin market? Yes, we do, but as you guys may be familiar with, there's a trend in media that we have been seeing for the last quarter of a millennia, where the media makes something look very different in print to get clicks, to get views, to sell newspapers than it actually is. This goes all the way back to the mid-1800s with yellow journalism and goes all the way up to today with fake news. And unfortunately, the cryptocurrency industry is no different. There are plenty of people in this market who will lead you to believe that working in cryptocurrency markets, learning how to trade cryptocurrency, learning how to become profitable in cryptocurrency, becoming an expert in cryptocurrency is simple and that it's easy and that you can do it in the next two weeks. When was the last time that a fitness magazine told you you can have six-pack abs in two weeks by following our program? Now think to yourself, when was the last time that actually happened? I'm gonna give you guys a warning early on. I'm not pulling any punches here. I do have sympathy for people that are going through hard times right now. I'm not trying to make anyone feel bad about themselves, but I do want you guys to understand the truth. This video is not here to call you. This video is not here for me to say, oh, you got this, you're good. There are plenty of motivational videos on the internet. I'm here to give you the facts. If you can't handle that, click off now. It's gonna hurt the YouTube algorithm if you do. That's fine, it's gonna screw up our watch time. This video might not get many views, but I don't care. Those of you who watch to the end, you're gonna appreciate what I have to say, and I promise you, Many of you guys need to hear it. It is remarkably important that you have a strong foundation, not only in your education about technical analysis, but also in the wisdom around the market and understanding the facts. So guys, before we go ahead and get started, I do want to mention the Cryptocurrency Technical Analysis Academy. As we're about to talk about in this video, learning technical analysis is not a terribly simple thing, and CT2A is not designed to make you an expert in trading overnight. It is, however, designed to give you a resource. Try learning calculus without a calculus textbook and without your smartphone. It's going to be quite a bit more difficult. If you would like to simplify by the process of learning technical analysis, CT2A was designed to help you along with that. You can find links to that down below, and there's a $40 off coupon code being run right now, July 2020, that you can use at checkout to get access to the Academy. But anyway, guys, without much further ado, let's go ahead and dive right on into it. Now, there's something I want to say up front. There are a lot of people right now that are going through hard times, that are going through very hard financial times. Many of you guys, it's not your fault. Maybe you got laid off because the company you're working for shut down. Maybe you're turning to cryptocurrency because you grew up in a very bad way and you were trying to help yourself. This is not a video for those of you who are emotional because I'm probably going to hurt your feelings. I was in the exact position that you were in. I was in the position where I had to make a change and I had to make it or I was going to be broken. A lot of you guys that are newer to the channel don't know this. I grew up not really very financially stable, and this channel is how I pulled myself up by my bootstraps by working every single day, working my ass off, not expecting any returns overnight, and planning for the future, and expecting that it would come, and having faith that it would come if I put in the work today. I would see fruits two or three years from now, two or three years later, I'm seeing them. So if you want the facts that you're going to need to make this whole cryptocurrency thing work, watch this video. But if you don't have the stomach for it, click off now. I'm warning you because I'm not holding any punches because I need to make this point for you guys. With that said, I have a business card right here. Keller Williams. I have a friend named Corbin who works for Keller Williams, and many of you guys, uh, you maybe have sold your home through Keller Williams. They're one of the largest real estate brokerages on the planet. Keller Williams was founded in 1983 by two men, Gary Keller and Joe Williams. Ever since then, through a lot of trials and tribulations, they've grown from where they started in like the 40s and 50s number of employees to 180,000 associates with thousands of locations all around the globe. They've sold billions of dollars of real estate. The local location in my county that only has about a quarter million people living here has done a couple billion dollars in transaction volume. Needless to say, this is a big company. In fact, it's one of the largest real estate brokerages on the planet. But let me ask you a question. How easy do you think it was for them to build that company over the last 40 years? 
Do you think it was all sunshine and rainbows? Do you think it was going to a party every single day? Do you think it was not focusing on the future? Do you think it was not accepting hard truths, such as the real estate market that they were in when they founded that brokerage? What, how hard do you think it was to build that business? By the way, both of those men that founded Keller Williams, their names are on this business card. They're both worth over a billion dollars a day because of the hard work they put in. Results show, and they show the work that went in. So now let's back up and think about cryptocurrency. What do you see on YouTube all the time? There are a lot of people on YouTube, and I try not to fall into this camp. It's hard because at the end of the day, media is media and you have to play the game. But there are a lot of people on YouTube, and like I said, I'm not faulting anyone, but there are a lot of people on YouTube who try and make it look a lot easier than it is. That's why when we sell CT2A, I always strive to make sure you guys understand, yes, this is going to make it easier, but it's not going to make it easy. There are two very different things there. I'm not a snake oil salesman. I can't make you... Boom, be an expert trader overnight. At the end of the day, it's up to you how profitable you want to be in cryptocurrency. You have the decision to be the greatest cryptocurrency trader that has ever lived. It's completely in your power to do so. This video is to curb expectations. Because there are some of you guys who are very upset, very sad, very done, very tired, so willing to walk away, so willing to leave because Bitcoin's been trading sideways for the last 45, 60 days. Oh, Bitcoin's boring. I'm going to leave. I'm done. I don't have patience for this. I'm going to hop on to the next thing and the next thing and the next thing and the next thing. But where does it stop? Remember, Gary Keller, Joe Williams, those two guys, they've been working in this industry for 40 years. You can't go around hopping industries. As someone named Sam Ovens once said, the grass isn't greener on the other side. The grass is greener where you water it. If you water it in cryptocurrency, you will thank yourself. So if you're thinking, oh, Bitcoin's trading sideways, I'm so bored. Let's give you some perspective because you're clearly lacking it. Those of you guys who have been here for a few years know where I'm going with this. Let's take a look. Let's, let's do some simple comparison between the market that we're in right now, where Bitcoin has been trading sideways for 63 days, and let's look at some other markets. How about this one right here? Bitcoin rallied all the way up here in 2019, and we more or less traded sideways for 82 days. Quite a bit longer, wouldn't you say? Well, what happened at the end of those 82 days? Because at the end of these days, I think we're more than likely going to break to the upside, but at the end of these days over here, Bitcoin would fall 21% in a day. And yes, a few weeks later, Bitcoin would rally 40% in a day, but then what would happen? That entire market fell over and Bitcoin fell 32%, far below where it started over the next month of a slow grind of boring, dull, downside price action. And then, just as it felt like Bitcoin was rallying and going to the upside, and we were going to break $10,000, and all was good, $60,000 was going to come, we were going to go straight to the moon, everybody was finally going to have their Lamborghinis after being waiting for a couple years. What does Bitcoin do? We start a pullback, and then it looks like we're bouncing, and the coronavirus hits, and then we go down 60% perspective. Okay, well, let's go back a little bit farther. What about 2018? Well, like I said, you guys know where I'm going with this. Bitcoin in 2018 was a very discouraging market. Many of you guys were here for the journey. We made videos every single day through this entire market, and believe me, I don't know either how I kept coming up with stuff to talk about, but somehow I did. When we hit $20,000, Bitcoin pulled back 50% in six days. Then we bounced, still 12% below where we started, pulled back 70% from all-time high down to $6,000. Every single time we rallied, we fell back, we set lower highs, we pulled back to $6,000. And then, guys, this was the most boring period of the market that I've ever been in. Bitcoin entered the dead zone. And we traded sideways in a 10% trading range for 70 days. And if that wasn't bad enough, after all of that time was over, Bitcoin would capitulate, break below $6,000, and then guess what it did? Bitcoin fell 50% in 30 days. But those of you who are new here think that the market that we're going through right now is so bad. Let's give some context here, because a lot of people don't understand what these lines on this chart mean. Every single time that Bitcoin pulls back here, or here, or here, or like over here, Every time that this happens, people lose their life savings. I hate to say it, but it's true. And like I said, I'm not holding any punches. You guys need to understand the stakes here. Back at the end of 2020, when this happened right here, there are a lot of people that were in the market in 2017 who are no longer on earth with us in 2018. I'll leave it at that. You know what I'm talking about. There's a dark side to this. And I want you to understand, it was not easy reading those news stories at the beginning of 2018. Do you understand why I'm making this video? Because it's very easy to sell YouTube views to people who want to see Bitcoin go to the moon. It's very easy to sell the technical analysis and say, oh, this technical indicator, this one technical indicator, ignoring all the rest, says that Bitcoin's going straight up. It's very easy to look at this market and say, oh, Bitcoin's trading sideways. Woe is me. Whatever am I going to do? I'm so upset. 
And like I said at the beginning of this video, there are a lot of you guys who are in dire positions right now that are in bad spots. And I feel for you. And you're trying to use cryptocurrency to pull yourself up. I'm happy about that. I'm not criticizing you because you're not there yet. I am, however, making sure you understand the market that you're getting into. A lot of people think cryptocurrency is like stocks, and cryptocurrency is not like stocks. Guys, the stock market, you go over to the S&P 500, and you can expect that you're probably going to have about a 6% annualized return after inflation. The stock market just goes up and up and up and up and up and up and up. And we can argue all day about why that happens, but the fact of the matter is that's, ten that's typically what happens. But let me tell you something, guys. That's not what you signed up for here in cryptocurrency. This is not a invest in it, and then it just goes up 6% every single year. Oh, maybe we have one bad year every 10 years, and then we just keep going up. I'm not saying to not invest in Bitcoin, by the way, but I do want you to understand this is not the same market. This is a much younger market. This is a much more volatile market. This is the S&P 500 on steroids and crack, okay? It looks like one of those horses down at the track has been juiced up for the race. This is a different game, and it's cutthroat. I was explaining to Taylor yesterday how leverage trading works over on Bybit, and I, was, and I, give the, I gave the example of a 100x trade. If you're on a 100x margin, by the way, we have a Bybit link down below, but I don't talk about it much because I don't want you guys getting hurt. It'd make me a ton of money if I talked about that more, but I don't want you guys getting hurt, so I mention it every once in a while for experienced traders, but in general, I don't talk about it much. Over on Bybit, it becomes very easy to trade 100x. It becomes very easy to say, oh, I've got $1,000 in this account. I really need to make rent this month, so instead of pulling out the $1,000 so I can pay $800 in rent, I'm going to go on a 100x trade. I'm going to try and make a trade, and then Bitcoin pulls back 1% and you get liquidated. The point I'm making here is to shine a light on the dark side of Bitcoin, the bad things that happen in Bitcoin, the getting liquidated on leverage trading, the Bitcoin pulls back 50%, the Bitcoin ruins people's lives because they invest too much. I want to make sure you understand the stakes because it's very easy to look at this market and just think, oh, we're having a lot of fun. Oh, it's great. We're all going to have Lamborghinis. But that's for the people that work for them. Guys, when we're talking about making Lamborghinis and popping champagne corks and pulling bikinis, that we're not talking about doing that on the short term. We're not talking about doing that Easy. We're talking about doing that on the long term. We're talking about doing that with hard work. We're talking about doing that with diligence and dedication and education and understanding. This does not happen overnight. Bitcoin is not a get-rich-quick scheme. You're not going to make your millions here unless you work your butt off for it. A lot of people see, oh, Bitcoin rallied 10,000% between 2016 and 17. It'll do it again tomorrow. I'll make all my money and then I'll be rich. I need you to curb your expectations and understand what you can expect from the market. There are going to be periods where Bitcoin trades sideways and is boring for 180 days. There are going to be times where Bitcoin pulls back 50% and you lose most of your position. There are going to be times where you get liquidated. There are going to be times where you hoped you made more money than you did and you didn't and you bet the farm on Bitcoin and it didn't pay off. There is going to be hardship in this video and I'm trying to slap you upside the face because no one else on YouTube has the balls to do it, but I care about you and at the end of the day, the point of this channel is to make you you guys as profitable and successful in markets as you can be and to do that you need to understand the risk to give you an analogy if i were a recruiter and i was trying to recruit people into the army i wouldn't let a single one of them sign on the dotted line without showing them a movie like oh i don't know pretty much any military movie ever made that has any degree of realism i wouldn't let them sign on the dotted line without showing them the pictures of people who've had their legs blown off if you're going to trade in cryptocurrency markets one I want to make this very clear because this whole video, you may think I've forgotten about this. There is a lot of money to be made here. I've heard of people making 150 grand overnight like that on a 100x trade. There is a lot of upside here, but where there is a lot of but where there is a lot of profit potential, there is a lot of potential to lose your money as well. And if you don't understand that, you are going to get burned. If you do not focus every single day on improving yourself, on learning more, on educating yourself, at getting better than you were yesterday, if you don't look to your, if you don't, like for example, in Mario Kart, when you're when you're racing your own ghost for the previous lap, if you're not getting better and better and better and better than your ghost every single lap, you're not getting better at all. And if you're not getting better at all, you're going to get left behind. So where is Bitcoin going? It doesn't matter because at the end of the day, you can make money when Bitcoin rallies or when Bitcoin crashes. That has no bearing on how much money you made. When Bitcoin pulls back, you don't get to use that as an excuse around my channel saying, oh, Bitcoin pulled back, I lost all my money. It's not Bitcoin's fault. You have to accept that. You have to understand that when Bitcoin pulls back, there's money potential. When Bitcoin is rallying, there's profit potential. When Bitcoin is trading sideways, there's potential for you to invest in your education. You can always be making yourself better. You can always be increasing your value in the marketplace. You can always be improving your skill set. So don't come to me and give me excuses. I was talking to someone the other day about working out because I was coming back from the gym. 
And I was talking to him, and he said, oh, well, I just don't have time. I work 40 or 50 hours a week. And I was like, yeah, I work about 40 or 50 hours a week. I still go four days a week. He says, oh, well, I don't have the money. I'm like, it's only 10 bucks a month to sign up for Crunch Fitness. That's where I go. They got a ton of machines in there. They got a freaking half a million dollars worth of machines in there. $10 a month, you can afford that. I know what money you make. And he said, oh, well, I just don't have the motivation. And at the end of the day, that's always just an excuse. And I finally ended up telling him, I'm like, dude, if you don't want to work out, if you don't want to get big, if you don't want to be strong, just say it. That's fine. You don't have to do the whole like, oh, well, if I were to actually work at it, then I would be successful. You don't have to BS me like that. I know what the deal is. You just don't want to work out. That's fine. I'm not judging you. I don't care. None of my business. But just say it in the same way as I just told him straight to his face. If you don't want to do it, then just don't do it. In cryptocurrency, if you don't want to actually profit in these markets, if you don't actually want to turn your life around, if you don't actually want to make money in this space, the kind of money that you can use to change your life, your community's life, your church's life, and your family's life, if you don't want to put that work in, then don't. That's fine. No one's going to judge you. But if you do, I need you to understand both sides of the coin, the good and the bad, because if you don't have context, you're going to get wrecked. So I hope you guys get my point here. My point is not to discourage you. My point is not to make you want to leave the space. My point is not to make you think that cryptocurrency is not profitable. My point is not to get you to leave. My point is not to upset you. My point is not to offend you. My point is to make sure you understand reality. Because especially here in the 21st century, everybody's caught up trying to figure out what their reality is. Because everybody has their truth. And then there's the real truth. And this video was about the real truth of cryptocurrency. The real truth is, it's hard. It's dangerous. You're going to get burned. But if you stick through it, if you hold on to that hope that by improving yourself every single day, you're not going to see results in 30, 60, 90 days. You're not going to have a six-pack abs in 14 days, 30 days, and 60 days. But just like with exercise, if you do it for two years, in cryptocurrency, you do it for two years, you will see results if you're working at it every single day. I've been in the space as of July 31st in about 15, 16 days. I will have been in the space for three years. For the first year, I barely made any money, but I worked in the market every single day because I had faith that if I stuck with it and if I understood the space and that if I kept on growing and I pinned my cart, if I put my cart on this donkey, that it would take me a long way. I had faith in that process. And because I did, it worked out. So I'm challenging you at the end of this video. Do you have faith in the process? Do you have faith in your ability to actually make money in this space? Because I'll tell you as someone who has gone through the journey that you may be on right now, there is a light at the end of the tunnel and it's a very bright light. But all the while that you're getting there, you're going to feel like you're clouded in darkness. You're going to feel like it's impossible. You're going to feel like it's not going to work out. But I promise you, this is the only guarantee I can really make you in cryptocurrency, in anything having to do with making money and working on yourself and self-improvement. But I can make you one promise, and that is the more you work, the harder you work, the more educated you make yourself, the higher the chance that you make something for yourself. So I'm challenging you right now, I'm challenging you today to work your butt off and come back in 24 months, two years, three years. Don't think it's going to happen overnight. Come back in two or three years and see where you are. Then let's talk about it. I'd love to hear your emails two years from now if you watch this video. Anyway, guys, that is going to wrap it out for today's video. There will be more technical analysis tomorrow, but it was a slow day, and especially right now, I feel like a lot of people really need to hear what I just said. Tell me in the comments section down below if you'd like to see more videos like this. Either, even if you don't say yes, uh, there are going to be more videos coming like this on top of the content that we're already doing. We're getting a new camera for a reason. These videos aren't just going to be me sitting in this office. Wink, wink. We got some cool stuff coming. If you want to see that, then make sure you hit that subscribe button so you'll be updated when new videos come out. And if you did enjoy today's video, or if you absolutely hated this video but you needed to hear it, hit that like and subscribe button down below. And by the way, guys, of all the videos that I make in the last couple of months, of all the videos I've made in the last couple of months, this is the one that you might want to share. This is the one you might want to link to your friend who thinks it's easy, who thinks, oh, I've been in the space for 30 days and I'm still losing trades. This is the video that you might want to share with them. So just think about that. Anyway, guys, before we go, I do want to mention the Cryptocurrency Technical Analysis Academy. Guys, CT2A was designed in a time where I was just starting to become profitable in the market about a year and a half ago. I'd been working in the space for over a year. I'd been getting better and better, and I was just starting to hit break even. I was like, yes, I got this. I'm actually pro finally profitable. Let me teach this to other people. And over those last 18 months or so that CT2A has been around, nearly two years now, We've grown to nearly 2,000 members. In fact, at the time of recording this video, there are 1,947 students of this academy. 
And the reason for this is very simple. The reason that we've had nearly 2,000 people go through CT2A is because they understand everything that I just said in this video. They understand that it takes hard work, it takes discipline, it takes an education to learn CT2A. And they also understand that I never told you that it was going to be easy. However, I did say, and I stand by it, that if you go through the academy, everything I just said is going to be a little bit easier because you have resources. For example, when you're working out, like I do, I work out four days a week. I'm going to the gym, do leg day here in about three hours because we missed this morning. One of us overslept. I decided since I don't really have a problem with money, but I do sometimes have a problem with discipline that I would invest in a personal trainer. Having that personal trainer, my friend actually, who's been a friend for a while, who is my trainer, writes my program, tells me what to do, spots me at the gym. It makes it so much easier when you have guidance. It makes it so much easier when you have someone whose knowledge that you can lean on like I do with Tim, my trainer, who's also, like I said, a good friend of mine. But that doesn't mean that my goal of benching two plates by the end of the year is going to be easy. It's still going to be hard. It just makes it a lot more attainable and it makes it much less likely that I'll stop and quit early. In the same way, that's what CT2A is designed to do. I've designed this program with 36 high quality videos to be your cryptocurrency personal trainer. I'm gonna teach you what you need to know in the order you need to know it so that you can start working in these markets and get a head start. Because I had to learn these markets the hard way. I had to go through everything I just told you. Every single thing I just said is things that I've seen happen to other people and things that I've seen happen to me. I will never come on here and say that CT2A is a get-rich-quick scheme. I will never say that in two weeks you're going to be an expert trader, but I will say this. In two weeks, you can cut down on the two years of learning curve that I had to go through. There are still things that you're going to have to go through on your own, like your own development, your own gut feeling, your own intuition, but if you want to get pointed in the right direction and you want help on that journey, that's what the Academy is here for. Guys, the cryptocurrency market is not an easy thing to learn, and you are going to want some help. I promise you guys, you take this Academy, two years from now when you're profitable, you're going to be looking back and saying, wow, I'm glad I did that. Because while I didn't have the choice about whether or not to make cryptocurrency work, I really didn't. I had to do it. You got backed into a corner and you had to fend for yourself. That's the situation I was in. I didn't have the option to quit. Many of you guys have the luxury, and in my opinion, the curse of not needing cryptocurrency to fix a significant problem in your life the way that I had. It meant that I didn't have a choice but to make it work. Many of you have the choice to up and leave tomorrow and you don't have to come back. If that's you, the first year of you losing trades consistently, trying to teach this stuff to yourself is going to make you quit. It's going to make you back out and it's going to make you miss out on a giant opportunity. So if you want help with that, that's what the Academy's for. We have a full 14-day money-back refund guarantee. Yes, we do accept Bitcoin payments. And if you like testimonials from our students, you can join our free Discord server down below and talk to our students in person, in private, where I can't see the conversation and weigh in. You'll get their God's honest testimony because they have nothing to gain. We have zero affiliates for the Academy. I'm the only one selling it. Anyway, guys, that is going to wrap it out for today's video. Tell me what you thought about today's video in the comment section and tell me if you'd like to see more of these down-to-earth, I'm shooting you straight style videos. I would be very happy to do more of them. Anyway, guys, that is going to wrap it out for today's video. Before I go, though, I do just first want to thank each and every single last one of you for watching, as always, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace. Oh, I got a real good feeling.